A camp. And Hogma willing. Some friendly faces. Well met. Goblins roughed me up and stole my hose when they heard me singing Hatchling Love. <laughs> you wouldn't have half a bedroll for a lost minstrel, would you? I can pay for my board with music, if you care for it. Quill Grootslang. Soon to be published in the songbook Affairs in Ancient Abir, Songs of Draconic Love. <laughs> oh, if I make it to Baldur's Gate with my manuscript, that is. <sighs> I know. It's not the first time I've been robbed. I am only glad I didn't get hurt. I'll just stay one night. Promise. Then I'll be gone. I know I'm ice blood, but I, I get cold so fast. I need to be by the fire. Thanks for the fire. I've prepared a dense manuscript of new love chants to be throat sung in Timantha style. You probably don't know, but the Dragonborn clans arrange their children's marital unions. Love is considered irrelevant to egg duty. But I've never even been kissed. And I can't stop myself from dreaming. I don't think most of us stop hoping. Ever, really. Not even when duty stamps us down. And that's what the songbook's about. Lost, lingering love. Never acted on. Never spoken. My clan name has been struck. I named myself anew after a long dead poet. I've been given a great chance. My song score, Affairs in Ancient Abir Songs of Draconic Love, is due to be published in the gate. I'm in a big, big rush, though. I fear that if I don't get there in the next few days, they're gonna print some kobold bone flute instrumentals instead. Is there someone who you think you might love? Oh, come on. I won't tell. Well, your life is poorer for it. <laughs> I grew up smiling about my little secrets to myself. I would have been laughed at if I admitted to anyone how I felt. It is not our kind's way. But I have my whole life ahead of me. Things will be different now I'm on the Sword Coast. I can't wait for what is coming next. Oh my! Are you sure? Are you really sure? Spoken like someone who's never heard a dragonborn throat song. This one, Sky Swain, is about what it might feel like to mate in the air, in the age where wings were yet with us. Hurry. Nine more verses. I'm only just beginning. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but 
that your head pounds and aches. Dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really? that you could be guilty of such bitter business. Another explanation will arise. You should face the problem at hand. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. A light and delicate girl. There should be no trouble at all to toss her into a ditch. You roll her away, further bloodying your hands as you do. In lumbering style, you have gotten away with murder. <laughs> 